I'm going to show you very quickly how to make your work cited page. On mrscooper.com, on the research tab right here, you can get some guidelines in print, plus there's a link to the video here. But I'm just going to show you how to do it. Go to your paper. Now, if you've already written your paper, you need to make a new page. <clears throat> if you haven't, just make a new page. And I'm going to look here, insert, page break, and it starts me a new page, and it'll add my last name and my page number if I've set things up correctly. I'm going to center this, and right there in the middle, I want to write works cited. Hit enter, you can see it's automatically double spaced. Now I want to go over there to the left. The way the works cited page looks is that the first line will be on the left and then the rest will be on the side over here. So let me show you what to do. Go to my outline. Here's one of my sources. I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to go to that website. Here it is. The first thing you want to look for is, is there an author's name? Often nowadays with these websites, we're just going to you know, these generic websites and there's no author. But this one has an article on their website and here's the lady's name, the author's name. So I'm going to copy it, come back to my outline, my work site, there it is, paste her name in there. Now you can see that's not how we want it to be. So I'm going to fix that. First, I'm going to put it to the left. Second, I want her last name to come first, then a comma, then her first name. Now, you also see it's the wrong font. I'm going to fix that later. Now I'm going for the title of the article. Here it is, Religious Intolerance, blah, blah, blah. Copy it. Paste it. And I see there's some more problems, but I'm going to fix all of them in a minute. Don't worry. Because it's a title, I'm going to put it in quotation marks, and it also gets a period at the end. So there's quotation marks. There's quotation marks. Next, I'm looking for the name of the website. Well, that's easy. Uh, it's religioustolerance.org. And I, that's actually the name of their page, just like mrskipper.com. That's the name of my page. So I'm going to type religioustolerance.org. It needs to be italicized, so I can hit Control I. Religious tolerance. .org. Okay. Now, it does not get a period; it gets a comma. That's actually new. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm looking for a date. There's one right there, December 18, 2016, and put it in this order: 18. December, we abbreviate all the months, 2016, again, a comma, not a period, that's a change. I'm going to copy the email, uh, the web address, paste it in there, boom, and again, it gets a comma. And now, this is considered an optional element, and I say just go ahead and do it. Access. And I put the date that I accessed it today is the 22nd, April, and they actually even abbreviate April, 2017, and a period. So that is all I need for my work cited. But now I've got to fix all the font. So, highlight all of it. And over here it says heading 2, I don't want that, I want it to be normal. This paper is done in Times New Roman. It's 12 point font. Okay. Now, this, all of this needs to be indented. So I'm going to highlight that. I see that little blue arrow pointing down? I'm going to move it over half an inch. You see it all moves. So I'm going to take that white, that little blue bar, and scoot it back. And there we have the kind of indenting that we need. 
I don't want this big wide empty space here so I'm gonna put my cursor right after that slash I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna hit tab over here and now it's beautiful and you can see it's already to the left now for my next one so I go back to the outline here's another website another source click it paste it boom no author listed the title of this is 11 facts about religious discrimination so I go back to here now because it's numbers numbers always go first so I'm gonna go up to the top use quotation marks because it's the name of an article 11 facts about religious religious something religious discrimination it gets a period I spelled discrimination wrong I know that Arnold's Chromebooks it does not do a good job of fixing showing you the mistakes the spelling problems okay so now I'm looking for the name of the website hmm it looks like it's do something dot org all right it gets italicized do something dot org and it gets a comma I'm gonna look for a date zoom down the bottom don't see a date anywhere so I'm just gonna copy the address Go back to my outline address comma Oh, and with the that blue means it's a hyperlink. If you're going to print it, you can change it to black. You can take up the underline and you can print it. If you're just going to leave it online, leave it as a hyperlink and leave, you can leave it blue, and that's fine. Same thing, accessed 22 April. I could have copied and pasted that too. Period. Now, I've got some space. Maybe this will fit. Let's see. Sure does. Hit tab and got that done. Go back for the next one. Back to the outline. Stop. Now watch Weebly.com. Weebly sites are just made by regular people. Not a site I'd recommend because just Joe Schmo made this. The name of this page is Stop Now Act Now in Muslim Discrimination. Uh, all their information came from other sources, but we're just going to cite this as our source. There's nobody's name attached to it. Even this page, this article, just called Statistics. So I could copy and paste it. Statistics comes after Shulman alphabetically. Quotation marks because statistics, and you probably see something's going on there, right? Statistics, I don't even know how to spell that word. Luckily, mine spell checks it for me. And I'm going to fix this to normal times New Roman 12 statistics. The name of the page is Stop Now, Act Now. I can't remember all that, so I'm going to copy and paste it. Oh, that's a mess. Italicize Stop Now, Act Now now end Muslim discrimination okay and it gets a comma that's so new it makes me I always forget and I've already looked there's no clue who made this site even if I clicked about us uh, it didn't tell who these people are there's no date for when they made this there's nothing so the only thing left I can put is the date that I looked at it. And so I'm just going to put that down. Oh, what am I leaving out? I'm leaving out the web address. Go back to the actual page. Control C. The problem with using a site like Weebly as your source is that you could end up with just crazy talk on there. Uh, it didn't indent, so I'm going to just tab it. Oh, let's do what I want. Control Z. I actually would kind of like to get this up there. Let's see. Yep, that fit. 
I hit tab, moved it over. 